Welcome back, folks. Manic Sonic here once again, bringing you the next part of Pokemon Brown. Last time we collected some supplies for our journey, and now we're going to head off into our first area, Merson Cave. So, as we're going to, ha we're about to have our first trainer battle here. As well as we're entering our first cave too, which is different for our first area, but I guess it's not so diff unusual for ROM hacks. <laughs> when I first seen it was a cave area, I was sort of worried that the trainers would be using a lot of rock types, which would be bad for Charmander, but however, that doesn't seem to be an issue so far. And basically still we're just going to be working with Scratch and actually no, now we're gonna have Ember, so that should um, help speed some battles up. Though it still doesn't really give me all that much strategy, as I still can't decide what between a variation of moves which ones I'm gonna give to him in the first place. Which I've got a basic idea of what what moves he'll end up having. So yeah, so I sort of was worried about uh, facing a Zubat at first. Wasn't sure if um, we we're gonna have to worry about supersonic, but then I remembered that I don't think it gains supersonic to about uh, level nine. Though don't quote me on that, I'm on. I don't remember all of that moves, and don't usually use in any gameplay. So yeah, so it appears this first trainer is just gonna have simple Rattata and, and um, so that, so nothing serious. Though, however, I'm still sort of bothered by the fact we're in a cave, and we're bound to run into some rock type wild Pokemon at some point. Though, with, em with it, the level difference, it doesn't appear we're going to have much trouble with uh, anything like that. I still think we should be able to deal with most rock types using Ember, and, well, mostly Ember. I'm not going to use Scratch on a rock type Ember that will do far much more damage. Actually, this cave, uh, th actually I recorded this once before, I did do a uh, previous recording for the first two parts. So I do happen to know what there is a Pokemon in here I'm going to be catching for my first actual party member. Though, so, uh, which, um, w when I'll catch it, I'm not 100% sure, though I will catch in this episode. Um, as for future, yeah, this here is, um, this is where I'm going to try to ca look for him. Um, hopefully I find him, and in fact I actually do find him. Well, rather quickly, actually. Yes, my first Pokemon is going to be Diglett. Why Diglett? Well, one, it could be useful later on if I run into any rock types, and two, I like having basic um, type coverage, and adding a ground type to my team seems really useful. Now, for future Pokemon, I don't know where you catch them, and I don't know which ones are actually catchable in this game, so I'm not 100% sure what other party members there will be, but like I said, I like type coverage. However, now, since Diglett's so low, and I'm hoping to actually use him, I'm going to head back and heal him up, so I can actually start training him. Um, after this battle, I will cut back, I will cut out my uh, journey, as I have to go all the way back to my actual house to get uh, recovered as there hasn't been any Pokemon centers yet and in this generation the well, and in this game there isn't a uh, healing st station inside the actual uh, lab of the first professor so yeah well we're back now and we're gonna take on another trainer and she has a Pikachu which for me is quite useful since uh, well Diglett's leveled up one level I'll face some old Pokemon on my journey there and back on my way back. Uh, but however, and I was worried that I'd end up having to. I had already used a potion because he was close to dying. He's not exactly the strongest yet, and he doesn't exactly do a lot of damage. However, for Pikachu, not an issue since all it knows is Thunder Shock and Growl. So Growl's not going to really do anything but slow me down, and Thunder Shock's not going to do any damage at all. And again, we get another level up. Um, next, a Clefairy. I'm going to leave Diglett out and do a little bit of damage, uh, ho ho hoping that I'm actually going to be able to kill it, hoping it just keeps using Growl and it keeps missing, or it does a certainly low amount of damage. However, one more shot like that, and I didn't feel like 
healing it again. I don't want to use all my potions. I'll just end up Charmander. Still get some experience. But yeah, as you also, if you notice, and I'm gonna probably switch between using Ember and Scratch because, well, I don't have any moves to recover power power points, and I don't really want to keep running the Pokemon Center, so I'll try switching between both. And since Scratch has a lot more, and I will need Ember later on for certain Pokemon a lot more than Scratch, I probably will be using Scratch uh, quite a bit. So if I can ha can kill Pokemon with three moves, I'll probably use Ember and two Scratches for now. And as for Diglets, well, it's simply no scratch, so I don't really have much other options. Though I hope it will learn something in the next in the next little while. I was about to cut it off here because I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take when I cut out the the traveling, which was actually four minutes. So I actually could have recorded a little longer than I'm actually going to record. But I'm gonna face this one last trainer, and just this is sort of funny since I was just watching a let's play where someone was uh, playing Emerald, and they fought um. Well, Pokemon just as they were, but uh, face the trainer too, like happens here. So, as soon, so I'm not gonna have a chance to recover if anything happens to any of my Pokemon in between this battle and the trainer battle. Though it's basically just a Zubat, which won't be cause much trouble since it still only knows Leech Seed and it's not Leech Life, and it's not gonna do very much. And yeah, I'm, I'm not expecting much challenge from this trainer since from the sprites, I'm guessing it's a bug. Catcher, you know, and from the fact this is post commentary, which it's really annoying that I couldn't train Diglett on bug types. However, I'm s I'm not I'm worried about the levels. They're they're similar. He'd probably take out my um, Diglett quite quickly, and I don't feel like running back to the Pokemon Center. Though in between this video and the next one, I'm going to go back and do that, and I will probably actually uh, maybe get um, try to ma um, love fix the level gap in between. Uh, uh, Charmander and Diglett, though it's not that great. I, I might do it anyways. Uh, speaking of which, the, I know I just started the last way, but, and I'm going to try to do uh, an update every day. However, tomorrow I'm not going to be able to update as I my time I have a I won't have time to actually record this as it does get quite noisy around here. And well, I'm going to be out during the only time of the day when it's actually quiet. So yeah, uh, ex expect a video on Friday. Um, I don't know. I, I'm gonna get in probably putting up two videos a day soon, but I wanna get into the whole routine first, then I'll be able to. And then once that's, I'm hoping at some point to start a second day Let's Play also, and I'll try to do two videos for that. But um, yeah, so um, this is basically it. This is after this battle. I'm going to end this episode. I know it seems rather short, but it was 12 minutes when without cutting, and I wasn't sure how much time I actually cut out. So I'm going to end it here. Um, rate, comment. Rate if you want, comment, and see you next video, folks. See ya. Peace.